there are thousands of PFAS chemicals. They've been branded forever chemicals because many of them last for decades, if not centuries, in the environment. What advice can physicians give to their patients toward that end? So the bad news here, Todd, is there is no medically approved treatment to remove PFAS from the body. These chemicals are odorless and tasteless. You can't see them, you can't smell them. What PFAS are and where they're found? So there are thousands of PFAS chemicals. They've been branded forever chemicals because many of them last for decades, if not centuries, in the environment. Uh, but in the United States, there are really four. I call them the big four that are in most people. Uh, those are PFOS, PFOA, PFNA. Those are what we tend to find in nonstick pans. And then the fourth is uh, PFHXS, which is in firefighting foams. Most people in the country are exposed to PFAS through drinking water. Uh, but there are many communities that have had production facilities of PFAS that have gotten PFAS into their bodies. Uh, some of those facilities don't make the big four, and so those communities are a little different. Um, farms have been contaminated with PFAS uh, because uh, sewage sludge that was contaminated with PFAS was applied to the farms, uh, and the food grown on those farms could have PFAS in it. Right now, the evidence uh, links uh, PFAS exposure to higher cholesterol, uh, lower birth weights, kidney and testicular cancer, high blood pressure in pregnancy and preeclampsia, uh, and liver inflammation, inflammation. There are other health conditions where there is some evidence, but it's a bit more uncertain, uh, particularly thyroid disease is in that list. So the bad news here, Todd, is there is no medically approved treatment to remove PFAS from the body. And so that really gets back to how important it is to start with the exposure history and try and reduce exposure whenever we can, right? As I mentioned, the main source of exposure is water. Uh, you know, many people in the country are municipal water supplies. And it's important for providers to know that uh, EPA will uh, likely be putting forth new rules that will uh, not only require uh, municipal water systems to be testing for PFAS, and many systems already are, um, but also, of course, set a standard uh, which is intended to protect health of the levels of the big four uh, and a few others uh, that may be in the water. This was a chemical that, that really was off the radar uh, of federal and state governmental agencies, nobody knew much about it. The company that was making uh, material and releasing the chemical into the drinking water was that it was a chemical that shouldn't be in the water uh, and appeared to be toxic, appeared to have a lot of adverse health effects. The independent science panel ended up finding probable links with testicular cancer, kidney cancer, ulcerative colitis, thyroid disease, preeclampsia or pregnancy-induced hypertension, and high cholesterol. These are man-made chemicals that have been used in things that are stain resistant, waterproof, grease resistant. They're in an incredible array of different products and it's important to find out as much information as you can about what types of products these chemicals have been used in and then to, to reach out to the folks that are still using them to try to encourage them to move away from using these chemicals in those products. Uh, what Teflon is one of those, yes. Bucky Bailey's mother worked in the DuPont chemical plant in 1980 in Parkersville, West Virginia, making Teflon, the nonstick surface for pots and pans. What Bucky's mother didn't know at the time was that she was exposed to a chemical known as PFOA, which is now proven to be linked to cancer. Those toxins have now contaminated a 25 square mile of my community. My neighbors didn't know, I didn't know, the community didn't know. If somehow so the government came into somebody's living room, a black, a black woman shot her dead, there would be outrage. But the government can poison the water with cancer causing toxins. For 30 years that person dies of cancer and there's no outrage. Too many of my friends and neighbors are getting sick at ages far too young to pass off as normal. PFAS chemicals, they're called forever chemicals for a reason. They literally live forever. And there are over 5,000 of them in commercial use today. And companies like 3M and Comores are allowed to continue to make them, knowing that there is no proven safe method for disposal. And every day that we come in contact with these chemicals is another day that we are exposing ourselves at a cellular level to their altering effects. 2017, the Air Force admitted that the local Air Force base had been dumping PFAS or perfluorinated or forever chemicals, toxic chemicals, 
into our drinking water source for decades, from 1990 until 2016, at least several times a year, 30,000 gallons. And subsequently, 16 of my family members who lived in the contaminated area have been diagnosed with cancer. These chemicals are odorless and tasteless. You can't see them, you can't smell them. These chemicals can't be burned, they can't evaporate, they can't dissolve, and they will never go away. And that's why they call them forever chemicals.